So yeah, good afternoon everybody. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here and to start this Italian part of the tournament. We are the first one and then we, have, we will have other two Italians group to finish the, the competition. It's very, very uh, <laughs> nice. So uh, let, uh, let me um, introduce our project, uh, talking a few seconds about our city, the, the city that we love. This is Palermo, the city uh, from where we are. So, as you can see, it's very pretty, doesn't it? Like we have the mountains, we have the sea, we have history. We... It's such the perfect place in the world. <laughs> but look at this other view. This is the same city as you can see from the mountains in the background. And uh, of course, we have many, many issues, like every, every city in the world. So garbage, traffic, um, everything. So what's up? Every day, um, polit politicians, associations, organizations, they are trying to do their best to solve these problems, putting new uh, uh, trees along the street, or putting cycling paths, or, I don't know, trying to improve uh, the public transport service. But what's up? That sometimes this is not enough, because there are always other problems, maybe just little things that everyone complains about, but no one reports. So cities are getting bigger and bigger, they don't have enough resources to control every street. So, of course, every city is beautiful. Maybe it's beautiful for their citizens. But um, don't, let, don't let our cities die below our indifference and just take care of them. So how can we help our city? Uh, how can we help people to help their own city? This was our, our questions. So we tried to answer to these questions, developing a system that gives cities back to uh, citizens in their hands. And this project is called UMER. Yeah, what we had in mind was uh, developing um, a community-based system that would give every citizen the opportunity to become a leading player in the city renewal process. And that's basically UMER, a non-profit and crowd-sensing project which consists of a mobile app uh, that we've developed, a uh, geodatabase of urban issues provided by users, and some solution to those issues developed by anyone who wants to contribute. As Mauro said, uh, basically uh, we just want to take care of cities, helping local government to be more effective and building at the same time a collaborative and cooperative spirit among users. But how we do that? By creating a direct link between citizen and local government offices and providing the community the chance to discuss and propose solutions. In both cases, we rely on sponsors to support the platform. In fact, in order to ensure the economic sustainability of our project, we aim to involve different entities, companies interested in being sponsored in exchange for advertising or CSR, local businesses as well, municipalities, who wants to join you mayor and use it for urban monitoring and in the end to get donations. Now, in order to try to convince you to make one, I would like to show you how you mayor actually works. mentioning the public relations office of the city council is immediately sent. Starting from now, a report is available on the app and the, and the, site, and the website and users can recommend it. According to the number of recommendations, different actions are, are triggered. Tweets, emails and regular mails are sent to the different uh, competent, uh, competent local offices. And, uh, uh, until the problem is solved or until the uh, report reaches 100 recommendations. Starting from now, every user can propose a solution to the community. We have already developed a beta version of the mobile app, which is currently under testing and involves those basic functionalities, and we plan to release the official version by the early on 2014 
involving the 20 biggest uh, city in Italy. Uh, of course, as you probably have noticed, Umeo is not a uh, one of a kind project. In fact, there are around the world a lot of different apps that give uh, uh, users the opportunity to uh, report all the urban inefficiencies. However, most of them are designed for working in cooperation with municipalities or uh, within a restricted local environment. Uh, our project, conversely, is a uh, thought for acting globally with or without the government support. But there's more. You may, in fact, is designed to work in an unorganized and chaotic situations. In cities like Palermo, when sometimes you have to tell to your local administrators to do your job or push them, or sometimes you have to do it with your neighbors because any, no one else seems to care about it. Long story short, uh, we can say that you mayor is an app for urban revolution. And that's what we do at PUSH. We, our non-profit civic, civic startup based in Palermo, we try to change the world, or at least our beautiful Sicily. We are a really young, 27 years old on average, and a really motivated team of 12 people, 12 guys, consisting of engineers, architects, software developers, designers, marketing experts. Together, we, we believe we can make it, even, as you can see, someone is not photogenic at all. And I'm not talking about tomorrow, <laughs> or me. So, thank you for your attention.